Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Let's go ahead and keep going with FS port here. There is little left for us, little time, but much irony. We did discover they are not invulnerable. The destroyers that darkened our skies like a plague can be harmed. But we have no way to deliver the hurt. We have the knowledge, but not the means. And so this is our legacy. In subspace, they cannot use their shields. And into subspace, they can be tracked. So finally, some context on we the cutscene. Well, I guess the cutscene finally has context. They have been partially uh, it's the uh, Altair records there that they were talking once about. Again be handling the movement of the scientists and the records. And I guess that's the two transports that we had. Unfortunately, the Altair system is still controlled Isn't Omega by the same right? name as the transport that was used by the uh, stationed here. Has gotten word of guy who stole those system. weapons that we never he heard back about. The vector to the subspace node. Oh well. Uh... The anvil carries with it a powerful contingent of the student fighters. Intelligence reports two squadrons. One of advanced toss space superiority So fighters, looks like we're going to have to take out a, the student destroyer here. These fighters have defended the so that we can uh, figure out how to track ships through subspace or something. Intelligence has also detected the presence of a third wing of the student bombers in the system. They will undoubtedly try to attack our fleeing transports. Yeah, so pretty much we have to get our transports to Deneb, I guess. Your strike force will once again consist of Alpha, Beta, and Gamma wings. Gamma will provide escort for Alpha, while Alpha attacks the Anvil. Beta will ensure the safety of the transport... Okay, so we actually get to run our bombing run against a destroyer. Like a pursuit destroyer instead of a sheep and one like we did last time. The Anvil time. must be destroyed. We are equipping Alpha with Harbinger, Harbinger bombs. These bombs require exact placement and careful maneuvering, but will do massive damage to the Anvil. Beta and Gamma must ensure that the Harbingers reach their target. I mean, I don't know how they miss that. Our primary goal, it's, however, is to ensure that... I mean, I gave this game a lot of shit. I mean, I mean, I really like the mechanics and all that. But, seriously, Harbinger. Harbinger. How did you miss that? I mean, it's just stupid. Okay, we can only carry two of the Harbingers. Let's see, uh, no, I don't want the synaptics. I would much rather have more harbingers. Disruptor. Those are harbinger. Oh, it's probably. Nope. No more left. So, in that case, uh, I'm going to equip tsunamis as well. I'm going to do the same thing for all my wingmen. Well, I guess one of the wingmen. Uh, I'm gonna give him more. Oh wait, he's that's a stiletto. No, that's a. Let's see. Because I really don't want these guys firing synaptic bombs because the AI is kind of lousy at it from what I've noticed. I mean, it's entirely possible that it's been improved because uh, the open source project is actually constantly updated, but I really just don't want to find out the hard way that they don't know what they're doing. Alright, anyways, let's see. I've got the Prometheus. And they've got the flail. I can't remember how much that did damage wise. But uh I'd rather just go with dual Prometheus for myself, I guess. Let's see how that goes. Alright, now it took too long on weapon selection, but let's go ahead and go. Alright. Enemy wing just arrived! Attacking now, 
subsystem uh, that should prevent him from uh, actually let me order my wing to uh, destroy the subsystem because that should prevent him from accurately returning fire which will make this so much easier because it's going to take a lot of bombs to do this Let's see I think I can divert power away from my weapon yes I'm going to want it in engine shields again, because, uh, I don't know how much the Harbingers are going to do, and I've also got all these Pursuit of Fighters here, so I just really don't want to find out the hard way that I can't, uh, take the damage. It says he's in missile range, but I'm not seeing any locks. There we go. Fade. Okay. Got a lock. Getting close. And... Charge the burners. Fire and get away from the potential blast here. Leo bombers are down. Concentrate on protecting Omega 2. Okay, so his weapons have been disabled. Uh, 15 seconds before I can fire another set of bombs. I may not need to because he's taking. Well, no, I will. And we'll take you out. Just a few more bombs. This is why I want the tsunamis. Like I technically evaded that missile. I'm gonna call in support. So that I can reload. Because I guess I will need to reload. There we go, that's the last missile. Or bomb, I guess. Now if you were actually moving, this would be a little bit more of a challenge, but uh, that is another thing that they did bad with this. And I guess that's why bombing runs aren't as exciting, is the ships really aren't doing anything. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Need to get away. Uh, form on my wing. Well, sucks to be you, Gamma 4. Okay, let's divert power away from the engines here. And away from the guns and... Uh... It's a lot of wreckage. I really should have uh, run away from him earlier, but oh well. Gotta wait a while for the missiles to rearm. Uh, but tell Alpha to go ahead and engage. Wish I would not ram me. I wonder if I can hit these guys with harbingers. It doesn't look like we're gonna make it. Well, shit. I thought there were fighters protecting Omega. Apparently not. Or maybe there were, because uh, that fighter just exploded, and I didn't even have to fire my Harbingers. Which actually probably would have gone badly, because they probably would have exploded near the transports, and these probably were one-hit transports. 
But hey, who cares about that? Omega-2 is so fucked up, I am going to tell Alpha to protect him. On it. In fact, actually, all fighters should protect him, because Omega-1 is about to jump out. Yeah, only about 10 seconds left, so it makes sense to have everybody scramble to Omega-2, because of how badly damaged he is. Plus, all these guys have ancient records on board. I mean, we don't need those. What's more important is it ancient like records. It, it looks like you made it. You're not too sure about that. Right, we've got about two minutes left before Omega 2 reaches the Neb Jump node. Definitely taking a bit of damage because of all the flames coming out. I don't really want time accelerate because uh, I'm actually a little bit afraid of bombers jumping in at the last second. And I really don't want to have to deal with that. Almost there. About one minute left. So I guess uh, there's probably not going to be anything else. Ah, uh, I can't fire these missiles without a lock. Want to fire more harbingers, maybe towards that planet. I guess I can time accelerate a little bit if I remember the keys. There we go. We're jumping out now, sir. Okay, there we go. Oh, my wingman would stop ramming me. Return to base. After a nice little nine minute mission. And I got promoted to, uh, Lieutenant, because of my awesome score. Which, incidentally, you can't actually see the points. We haven't yet been briefed on the full importance of the ancient records. The Terran command is extremely pleased. Further orders are expected soon. It is impressive that you managed to destroy a primary flagship of the Hammer of Life. Perhaps this will put an end to their resistance. Fighting the Hammer of Light has been a great strain on the Terran Vesudan alliance. Don't say. Anyways, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. If you'd like to help me get promoted, just go ahead and remember to subscribe, rate, and comment. <laughs>